Ayo Crew, how are you? Welcome back to another day of Animal Crossing New Leaf. I hope all you guys are having a great, what is today, Wednesday? I think it's Wednesday for you guys. And we start out with some mail and a letter from Stitches. It says, uh, I've always checked out the fashion magazines at the store. The ones beside the candy rack? Well, an article said that these are going to be really popular this season. Totally trendy Stitches. All right, so let's see what he got us. Um, by the way, guys, uh, my kitten, Farah, is currently sleeping on my desk. I wonder... If there's a way that I can sneakily show you guys her. What's this? A rose sky tea. Alright. I'll wear it. It seems summery, I guess. Um, it doesn't look like any new flowers have spawned in yet. Um, but yeah, so I've been posting a ton of pictures of my cat on Twitter, if you guys haven't seen her yet. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna run to the Able Sisters real quick on our way to go shopping. And what I'll do is I'll do the QR code thing so that you guys can see her that way. I know that's like a really cheesy way of doing it, but it'll save me from having to try to match these two videos up and editing and yada yada yada. We'll just cheese mode it, okay? So pretend like this is a great idea. If you'd like to see more pictures of her, uh, yeah, you can always use Twitter and see her there. Uh, but first of all, let's go ahead and check this out. There's a Pride t-shirt over there. That seems fitting, because I believe it is Pride Week? I think? I don't know. I know YouTube has the Pride flag. I'm trying to think what it is, though. All right, so let us real quick pretend like we're going to be doing a QR code, but the truth is we are just going to check out my kitty. And there she is. So she is currently asleep on a sweatshirt that I am uh, I'm recording there. But, uh, yeah, there is my sleepy little Farah. so, sorry I had to do it that way, it's just easier. So yeah, that's my kitty cat. Alright, back to the daily, regularly scheduled video. Uh, there's not really too much going on in town today, we do have the fortune teller, but, uh, I don't really care about that. Um, so we will get our shopping done, which I don't have a lot of money. And then we will do a daily roam around the town, see what everybody's up to. We will pay Stitches a visit for giving us this awesome t-shirt. We'll check and see if there's any campers, and uh, yeah, that pretty much rounds out what I wanted to do today. Just remembered, I have to spend 1600 on fertilizer. By the way, we're probably only like two weeks into fertilizer, I'd say, which really sucks. Because um, obviously, we want 50 so we can get the golden shovel, so we can start doing golden... Uh, well, that's not golden, I guess. So that we can start doing bag money trees. Bell trees, that's the word. Hello, bag money. Yeah, it's one of those days. Don't judge me, okay? All right, what's in the box? It looks like we got, there's a fortune inside. Hmm, let's see here. She who wears lava proof pants. Oh my gosh, really? More of the Samus set? It never ends, dude. It never ends. Um, well, we will trade it in all the same. Please show me the lucky ticket that you want to trade in. This one. Please, give me more things that I've had 900 times. I really don't mind. Ah, congratulations, the prize for 42 is the suit pants. Neato. Thanks, anyways. Much appreciate, such wow. All right, back upstairs we go. Maybe we can uh, find something cool up here. It looks like we have an exhaust fan, a common bed. Um, we got some kind of figurine. We got a minimalist uh, wardrobe, which I am going to pick up. Uh, that is 3,000 bells. Oh, God, I don't have enough money for it. Ako Taco. Uh, is this considered a lovely piece of furniture? The lovely kitchen. You know, that's kind of sexist. A little bit. You assume the girly lovely set needs a kitchen? Nintendo, I'm frowning at you. <gasps> they have the astro floor. Oh, my God, we need so many bells. Okay, hold on. First of all, what's in my inventory? We got Regal Clock, I don't need that. I don't need that. Regal Wall Lamp, Toaster. I don't wanna sell the toaster. All right, we're gonna sell the two Regal pieces and hopefully that'll give us enough for the Astro Flooring at least. And then we'll worry about grabbing uh, some bells, which we'll just grab fruit or something in town. What'd you like to sell? We are gonna sell the Regal Clock and the Regal Wall Lamp. What is this? Exquisite to Rug. Yeah, we can sell that too and are striking whatever there you go hmm yeah i could buy these from you for a total of 1800 bells Ugh, 
feels bad, man. Okay, whatever. We can at least get our Astro Flooring, which we for sure need to get. And then we'll worry about getting the rest of the bells, which we can get from uh, retail. So, we're going to sneak out of here real quick. And I know I could just go sell the stuff that we have in our wardrobe. Because I have a ton of random crap. But I'd rather just sell fruit. It's easier. It won't make it a half hour video of me just looking through items in storage. Which I'm sure you guys appreciate. I don't think you guys want to sit and watch me uh, check items for the next hour. But now that we have our Astro flooring, that means we're pretty close to being done with it. We still need the Astro table, which uh, Mira still owns. And I can only imagine what else uh, we're missing from it. I think we have the Astro clock. Maybe the Astro bed. Is there an Astro bed? Or wait, do I have the Astro? I have the Astro bed. What am I talking about? All right, upstairs we go. And survey says, ba -ba -ba -bum. bump. Oh, that actually makes the room look really cool. I mean, obviously, it's still very empty. We still need a lot of stuff. I feel like we need an Astro sofa. We need a bunch of stuff. But it is coming along nicely. So let's go in here real quick. Um, I'm actually going to grab that silver. I said I wasn't going to do this, but I saw silver, so I'm going to take it out. Uh, hero's pants, we'll put those in there since those are extras. Um, toss this in here. What's that? Okay, I don't need that. Metroid, I don't need that. Don't need suit pants again. Uh, cabin rug, we'll toss in there. And I want to hold on to the toaster, dude. The toaster is such a cool item. Um, okay. Is there anything else that I know can just be sold immediately? Uh, uh. I don't want to check items. I'm just grabbing stuff that I know. There's a flea that I can sell. Okay, are there any fleas in here? There's a flea. I know that every time I get a flea, I don't sell it. I just end up tossing it in here, so we may as well grab them while we're here. And that looks like it's going to be it, if I do say so myself. Okay, cool. So we can go grab some fruit then. You know what I just realized? The shirt I'm wearing reminds me of like a nurse's scrubs. Which, I don't know why, I don't I, I don't understand why I'm like this, but I always thought scrubs looked like the most comfortable things in the world to wear. Like, I mean, I'm sure they are since nurses work like, what, 12 hour long shifts? Like, uh, I'm sure it's rather comfortable if they're going to be wearing it that long, but still, I want it. I want it. I need it. It needs to be done. Uh, we'll worry about watering that later. Maybe Rod will water some of it for us. And let's try to find ourselves a uh some form of fruit tree preferably perfect pears or not okay how about we snag some of these durians real quick grab these since these are considered exotic fruit not as good as perfect fruit but we'll take it just grab that let me stack these so we don't overflow and we'll shake this tree real quick there we go one two and three all right so that is going to give us nine pieces of durian hopefully that will give us oh, do i want to grab more fruit i probably should just to be safe let's see if we can find some perfect pear trees those are regular pears Lychees don't sell for a lot. Here's some perfect pears. Eh. Thank God the tree didn't fall apart. I was a little worried. For those of you guys who don't understand, uh, the perfect trees only have so many harvests. I think it's between three and five. Don't hold me to that. I could be wrong. But uh, yeah, then they will. Uh, all their leaves will fall off when you shake it, and they will no longer bear fruit or grow. You can plant fertilizer next to a dead tree. It'll grow it back. The only downside is it will no longer be uh, perfect. I heard others are calling you by some new nickname. They're calling you Cookie, right? Can I use it too? Absolutely. I love the nickname Cookie. Yippee, you'll be Cookie for me from now on. Nice. The name Cookie is spreading. I know, it's a weird nickname to be excited for, but yo, Cookie's a cute nickname. All right, I'll take it. We take what we can get here in Ulyssen. It's better than Dr. R, that's for sure. Granted, I think anything's better than Dr. R. Um, okay, so let's grab these apples, and then I think think we will have enough money. That should be fine, right? 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 
Uh, yeah, we're gonna pretend like that'll be enough. God, there are so many potholes in my town. Hey, hello there, little guy. You seem chipper as always, so how can I help you? What is the latest, Nana? Sometimes it's good to be uh, get some exercise and play, right, little guy? Lately, I've been really into hide and seek, a battle of hide well and finding the hiders. Uh, sure, let's play a game of hide and seek. I'm fine with that. That settles it then. I'm already thinking about where to hide. I've been uh, not only one in town who likes to play. I'll go round up some other players. All right, who is playing hide and seek with us? We do have Hamfrey and Rod. So two of them will be super bright, easy to find, and then Hamfrey is always the hardest hider because uh, he blends into the shadows. He's like a, a hamster ninja. <clears throat> okay, so with hide and seek, your villagers can hide anywhere behind trees, behind houses. The thing is, they cannot hide inside of a house, and they also can't hide on Main Street. So it's normally pretty easy to find them. They will peek out from the trees, which can help a lot. Um, it's a lot easier if your town is like evenly spaced out. It makes it super easy to find. Um, trying to think what else I was going to say. Oh my god, this bamboo is so freaking overgrown. Um, is there any other tips? They can hide on the beach because there can be palm trees there. If you don't have palm trees, obviously I don't believe they'll go down there. It's only if you actually have palm trees. Oh, Hamfrey. I said you were going to be the hard one to find. Heh, <laughs> guess you found me. Oh, they're a lot better than I expected. I totally see you in a different light now, Ham. Oh, well, you know, there's still two more people hiding, right? Uh, you won't win this game unless you find everyone, Ham. All right, well, thanks anyways, Hamfrey. At least you found the hardest one, in my opinion. So, let's see where the bright pink is. That was weird. My game, like, randomly lagged out. I hope that uh, my audio is still in check. I don't, I don't know what word I was trying to say. I was going to say in tune, but obviously it's still in tune. Um, where's everyone hiding? Is there anybody up here? I don't think they can hide behind the campsite, but hey, Ron. What's up, dude? What? How'd you find me? Oh, my hiding muscles must be way weaker than I thought they were. Oh, there's still one hider out there. Better get busy, Rack. All right, Ron. Thanks, though, bud. And it doesn't look like we have a camper today. So, since we found one on the far east side of town, we found one on the north side of town, my guess is Nana will be hiding either behind one of these houses or behind the uh, lighthouse. So, we'll have to wait and see if we can find find her. Survey says she's behind one of the houses. Hey, Nana. Oh, no, you found me. I thought I was done a good job of hiding, too. Well, you're such a good seeker, little guy. Ah, oh, the winner is little guy. Ah, oh, you're a good seeker, Popo. So tell us uh, you'll be defined so easily. So thank you for playing with us. We're having have this lab floor. Okay, well, it gives us something else to sell. Uh-oh. The kitty has woken up, and she is staring at my screen. Um, so if you guys haven't seen it on stream yet, uh, she loves my computer monitor and she loves trying to grab the stuff that is on it. So we were trying to play Hearthstone the other night and she's trying to grab at the cursor and the cards as we play them. It was pretty cute. So she is, uh, definitely a computer kitty to say the least. Alright, what's up Reese? Oh, hello there, welcome. Hey Reese. Uh, looks like we have... Whoa, melon. That actually looks interesting. I don't know if I would put that out in my house, but it is a cool color. It's a very, I mean, uh, it's melon, I guess. So it's a very summertime color, I guess. It's refreshing, you know? It reminds me of like, uh, what is that stuff called? Aloe vera? It's a little lighter than that, but all the same. No, I'm not selling my toaster. Hi, kitty. You decide to wake up? Hoping she falls back asleep here pretty soon, because it is like 4 in the morning, so... Oh, 26,000 bells? Absolutely. Um, so hopefully what she'll do is she'll be up for a little tiny bit, and then she'll play, eat some food, go to the bathroom, and then she will sleep through the night, and then that means I can get some sleep today too, which would be pretty cool. She did really well last night. I tried to set up like a little bed next to mine though, because I'm always afraid that if she's sleeping on my bed with me, I'm going to roll over on her. But she ninja'd her way onto my bed last night and slept on me. So I guess I guess she wasn't too concerned about it. So hopefully I don't roll around or have any nightmares in my sleep because that would suck. But let's go pick up our minimalist closet that I wanted to get or dresser, whatever. I think it was a closet. 
And then I wanted to get the lovely kitchen as well so that we could add that to the lovely room. And then I think that covers. I didn't finish checking the wallpaper and flooring though. I saw Astro flooring and I got so excited I didn't check the rest of them. All right, let's see what else it was. So we bought the Astro flooring. Then we have the, the ranch wall. Okay, I'm not gonna be running the ranch set. We have the mosaic wall, okay. Don't need that. And last but not least, we have some plank flooring. Okay, well, it looks like I definitely bought the best one there. And we will check out the kitchen set real quick. The lovely kitchen. I still find it funny that they made a lovely kitchen for the lovely set. And we will grab the minimalist wardrobe is what they're calling it. And we're good there. All right, cool. So we bought way more stuff today than we normally do, but it's all good. You know, hold on. I'm gonna go back in here and I'm actually gonna buy that uh, little figurine that's in like the glass shell. Cause I think that would look really good in the exotic room. So just to make sure we have it, even if I don't use it, it's not a big deal. I will buy it cause I think it'll look cool. A lovely doll. Not putting that in the lovely room, but I do appreciate the idea. And now we can sneak out. Took us a little, little longer than expected, but it's all good. And we can sneak out. What do we have, Pierre? Okay. So we can head back to the house um, and I'm gonna toss up that little figurine. We will put the other stuff in storage. And then of course we can water the flowers. Um, so what is coming new to the channel? Well, first of all, sorry that I didn't post the cat video. Uh, things have just been crazy busy around here. So I uh, sadly uh, missed it. I will try to post a video soon. I apologize for telling you guys. Uh, to be honest, I'm probably gonna stop telling you guys what I have planned and just do it instead so that I don't get anyone's like hopes up or make them wait for something. I'd rather just release videos when I release them and hopefully you guys like them. Um, still streaming Overwatch. I'm still looking for some other games to play. I started playing World of Warcraft again. Uh, probably will not stream World of Warcraft. It's more just I'm playing it on my own time, having fun with it, um, playing with my friends, which is always good. I feel like you, you need a game that you just play to have fun. And don't get me wrong, Overwatch is really fun. I do enjoy it. But there are times that playing in a competitive game can get kind of frustrating, and you know how that goes. I'd rather rather not bring those negative vibes into my other stuff. So, yeah, that is what I'm doing right now. I'm playing a bear tanking druid and also learning feral, which is really fun. Um, feral is way more complex than I expected, but because I played rogue, it is kind of similar. Um, and what else? There's this new uh, game called forts I think um, that I'm thinking about getting it's in like super early alpha though um, but who knows maybe somewhere down the line I could end up getting one of those uh, and maybe making like a little video here and there we're still thinking about doing the anime stuff um, I am watching assassination classroom which is okay it's not like the craziest uh, anime I've ever seen I don't think it'll be in my top five but it never hurts to try out something new that isn't your normal style because who knows you could end up really liking it and you didn't give it a chance you know it's kind of like I really want to see one of those sports animes um, I don't know how to explain it but yeah people always say that those are good and I've never given a shot um, okay let's water our black roses like always we didn't get any missions today right or any like tasks or errands to run for our villagers I think they all kind of just, yeah, because Bengal just wanted to call me Cookie. Nana wanted to play hide and seek. Uh, we didn't see Stitches out and about today. So we'll have to catch him tomorrow. Um, hmm. We talked to Rod technically because he played uh, hide and seek with us. So I think we're pretty good. We didn't see Maple though. We'll swing by Maple's house. She was home last I checked. So maybe she'll be home again. Eh? Fingers crossed. I miss this flower. I know other people probably won't care. No, do not eat the rubber band. Let go. Hold on one sec. My cat's trying to eat a rubber band. No, 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 no. 
Oh, itchy. I got bit by a mosquito. That's what you did to me, Farah. You got me bit by a mosquito, you silly goose. Sorry if you guys hear her banging around. She is awake now, so... When I'm done recording this, I'm gonna render it, and I guess I will be playing with her for a half hour to an hour until she gets tuckered out and goes back to sleep. But, before we end this video, let's talk to Maple. Hey, welcome to my home. I'm just sitting down to write a poem about a blue crayon, so what can I do for you? I wanted to chat. I think my place could use a little uh, design shakeup, don't you? Spot for anything uh, good in here? Do you mind? Wait, if you spot anything that would look good in here, do you mind bringing it to buy? Uh, I mean, you have the minimalist sofa. Hold on, I'll just give you the minimalist wardrobe that I just bought because that that would look good. Um, lovely doll, minimalist wardrobe. There you go. It'll fit your couch. Oh, minimalist wardrobe. Nice. Hmm. I wonder where I should put this. Okay, I know exactly where I'm going to put this. Probably just put it right in the back of her room. Oh, that works. Okay, so she put it, like, up against the side. Uh, repay for bringing this to me. Okay, we get a piece of furniture. Here's my ball return. Thanks, I guess. I appreciate it. Farah, you can't eat your own foot. That's not what it's for. Oh, now she's playing with my mouse. I should have let her eat her foot instead. Well, guys, I think I'm going to end today's episode here. I want to thank you so much for joining me on another day in Yulison. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're new. And, of course, you will have a new video tomorrow at 11 a.m. Central Time for another day in Yulison. But until then, guys, take care of yourselves. Peace.